All right, uh, good afternoon. Welcome to everyone at Corian High School for our spring signing day event. Uh, we're here to celebrate the careers of three uh, student athletes who've chosen to continue their academic and athletic careers in college. Uh, it's a testament uh, to their hard work and dedication to, to achieve such an accomplishment. Uh, today's format, uh, we will have each coach come up and speak on behalf of their player. Uh, and then we will have some time at the conclusion after they sign some pictures with your families can come up and get some pictures. Uh, we have Life Touch here and also some personal pictures if you choose. Uh, so with that, our first athlete that we're going to recognize is Josh Ringer, uh, who will be attending Thomas More University to play football. Uh, I'd like to ask Coach uh, Cutright, our head football coach, to come say a few words. Welcome, guys. Uh, it's a great day. You know, as a coach, you're always happy when uh, your student athletes are able to move on to the next level, uh, both in the classroom and on the athletic field. Uh, just a little bit about Josh. He, he's been a great kid for our program over the last four seasons. Uh, he's, he's been multiple positions, sort of utility guy, offensive line, defensive line, linebacker. So anywhere we've asked him to play and help us out, he's always been willing to do that. So I really appreciate your versatility over the past four years. Uh, he's been a great job for us. I know Thomas Moore will be happy to have him there. Uh, he has a great smile. He's taking down there, too. He might not be able to see it under that mask, but that's something to always remember about you, your versatility, ability to play different positions, and that smile that sort of lights up the room when you walk in it. So I'd like to put your hands together and congratulate Josh Ringer on this honor. Thank you. Good job, bud. Thank you, Coach. Uh, next up, uh, we will recognize Noah Sears, who will be attending Clark State uh, College to play baseball. I'd like to introduce our head baseball coach, Justin Neary. Thank you, Mike. I first want to congratulate all three of you athletes. Obviously, this is a tremendous accomplishment. You guys all have worked hard for everything that you've earned over the years. Noah, a, a special congratulations to you because you are obviously you know, a pinpoint in our program that's showed the way. Parents, congratulations to you all. Obviously, these three young men would not be where they are today without your dedication, your sacrifice, and everything that you've done for them so that they could be at practices, be at games, be at workouts. Um, so obviously, this is a day of celebration for them and their hard work but also for all of you who have put in the time to help them to get where they want to be. Absolutely tremendous. Noah, Noah is a three-year varsity letterman for us. Um, he's an infielder and pitcher. Tremendous, tremendous infielder this year. Um, he is our number one pitcher going into the season. We didn't expect him to be our number one pitcher, but with injuries and that thing moving forward, he has stepped in to that role and done an absolutely amazing job. He currently leads a team in batting average, on-base percentage, hits, stolen bases, and RBIs. He is day by day a leader by both, you know, his, his by example and a verbal leader. He is that guy who I can go to on a daily basis and ask, you know, what do you think about this? How are things going? What is the feel with guys? And, and Noah's always honest with me. Noah will tell me what, you know, what is going on, you know, whether it's good, bad, whether it's something, you know, to do with you know, different players, coaches, and, and I can always count on him for that because he knows what it means to have a good team, a good program, and what it takes. Um, competitor, tremendous. Day in and day out, he comes in and gives us, you know, everything that he got, he has. And a little story about that, his sophomore year, two years ago, playing at Fairfield, he took a ball off the finger and it, it was bleeding, couldn't get it to stop bleeding or he couldn't get it to stop bleeding. Nobody was sure what was going on because he was in the field. To stay in the game, he literally just kept picking up dirt and trying to pack in dirt in his finger so that he can stay in the game because he didn't want to come out. He knew that if he was bleeding, he'd have to come out. Ended up having a little you know, broken finger there and was out a few weeks, but that's just the type of competitor and, and gamer he is. He, he wants to be out there all the time and lead his team. You know, he, he's a tremendous young man who's going to continue to do amazing things for us for the next however, you know, however much longer we have to play. And in his career at college, at Clark State, they are lucky to have you, Noah. They got a tremendous baseball player. And it's been a privilege of mine to have you in our program the last four years. Again, congratulations, Noah.
Thank you, Coach Yuri. Uh, our, our last athlete is Maui Nevis. Uh, he will be attending Wabash College uh, to compete in wrestling. Uh, I'd like to introduce our head wrestling coach, Ms. Carl Huber. Uh, I would just like to start with congratulating all the athletes and all of you parents as well. It's a great opportunity today. You should be proud of your son up here signing to continue his education and also the extracurricular activities that they enjoy to do. Um, now moving on to Maui. Maui has been a phenomenal wrestler for me for the past four years. Um, he was a four-year varsity letter winner. This year he was a captain of the wrestling team. He has put some hard work, dedication. He uh, used to play football, decided senior year that this was it. I was going to focus on wrestling. I got a goal to achieve it. I'm going to be a state qualifier this year. That's what I'm going to do and put in the time and the effort to achieve that goal this year, being a state qualifier for the Coleraine wrestling team. He was a leader of our team. Like I mentioned before, he was a captain. He pushed his teammates every day to excel and better themselves in practice and after practice and whatever it may be, uh, making weight or getting the grades up, whatever it may be. He excelled in that area and helped the team finish in one of the highest finishes in the school history for the wrestling team. Um, He's very committed to things that he does. So if Maui says he's going to do something, I trust him that he's going to do it. Uh, like, hey, I'll make the weight. Don't worry about it. I got this. Hey, I'm going to wrestle you around. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to be a state qualifier. I got this. He says he wants to go on and be a medical doctor. Last time we talked, so I, he's a student that I could see achieving that goal. When he puts his mind towards something, he achieves it. Uh, he's a great leader. He puts in all the work, not just in wrestling, but in school. He cares about academics. He's always on top of his grades. He wants to do the right thing. He's also an Eagle Scout outside of the school in the community, and he always puts forth that extra work. Uh, during his time of wrestling, like I mentioned before, he was a state qualifier this year. He was a district qualifier as a junior. On his time as varsity, he recorded 93 uh, career wins on varsity so from his freshman year to his senior year, which is quite an accomplishment. Uh, in wrestling, we like to think of a huge milestone in wrestling is 100 wins, so he's just shy of that 100-win career. He's going to continue his career, have a lot of great success at Wabash, and I'm looking forward to seeing all the great things he does. So a round of applause for Maui Nevis. Thank you, Coach Huber. Uh, at this time, gentlemen, if you want to go ahead and, and sign. Parents, if you'd like to get some pictures, you can come up a little closer if you'd like to get some pictures. Uh, that concludes our ceremony today. You know, I'd like to thank you all again and congratulate you all and your families on a great high school careers and the best of luck to you in your college careers. Uh, if you'd like to, uh, parents, if you want to get some pictures, we have Life Touch here. You can get behind your athlete, take some pictures. You could take your mask off for some of the pictures. Just as long as you're taking pictures, you take your mask down and then, and then put it back up while we're walking around. <laughs>